Hello everyone, my name is George and I'm part of the team behind Reply.io, the platform that automates your personalized communication at scale. In this video today, I would like to show you how to add and manage your email accounts in Reply. Once you sign up for a free trial, the first screen that you're going to see is this invitation to add your first email account. If you use Gmail, all you need to provide is your email and password because we access your account via Google's own authentication technology. If you're using Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Exchange, or any other provider, you'll also need to specify some additional credentials like your sender name, hosts, and ports for SMTP and IMAP, which are pre-filled for Outlook and Exchange, and also make sure that your SSL settings are configured correctly. At the bottom of the settings list, you will come across the SSL security slider. Again, if you're using Outlook and Exchange, you don't need to change anything here. SSL must be turned on for IMAP and turned off for SMTP. But if you're connecting via other provider, these SSL settings may also vary. After adding your email account, I also recommend going into your email settings and checking some additional options that become available to you. If you click on the name of the account that you have added, you'll see three additional fields. The first one, safety settings, allows you to specify how many individual messages this particular account can send per day. This allows you to ensure that you're not exceeding the limits that are set by your provider. The second field allows you to add your signature so that you don't have to copy and paste it in every single email template that you create in your campaigns. And it is especially useful if you want to share your templates across your team. The last setting on this page allows you to create an opt-out message or link at the bottom of every email that Reply will be sending on your behalf, so that your contacts have an easy way to unsubscribe from your emails. In some scenarios, you may also wish to disable this option by simply removing the default text from this field. To make sure that you have configured your SMTP and IMAP settings correctly, you can press the test button and if you're getting a green dot, it means that your email is connected and you can start using a reply. Please keep in mind that you can add multiple email accounts to the same reply account. Up to three of them are available for all reply users. And you can also add more for an additional monthly fee. Thanks for your time. We know that time is important for you and over 1000 companies now use Reply to save them countless hours per week. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at reply.io. Thank you.